looking really good. Oh, that's a lengthy punt. Well hold. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Oh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. That forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Coming off a string of three birdies. Mm -mm. Did you judge that right? Don't think so. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. How much did the win last week give them the confidence to perhaps pull it off again here and go back to back? A massive win last week, looking to double up again this week. I got to say, they're building off all the good things they did last week. A win could definitely happen. Yeah, the line was pretty good, but the length, that was loose. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This one's for bogey. Well hold. Let's move on. Currently four under for the round. We've arrived at a par four hole. Well, this should find the short grass. Playing from around 190 yards out. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. out to the right for sure and here we are with the third shot Playing their fourth shot. Hmm, not sure what the intent was there. Time for the fifth shot. Well, at least you're not putting for triple. Let's make this for double.
Oh, what a lovely putt to make. Currently a couple under for the event. And they'll have to compose themselves now with this tee shot after a double bogey at the last. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's not the outcome they were after. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Certainly makes putting easy if he can chip it that close. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Currently two under for the event. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Uh-oh, they've hooked this one. Yes, next one from the beach. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. How close was that to going down? Time now for the fourth shot. Two strokes off the lead. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Three feet to go here to the hole. Okay, let's head to the next. Now three strokes back after that hole. Welcome to this par five hole. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Time for the second shot at the 14th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. Only a few shots off the pace. This part is about 16 feet. It's on a great line. Oh, so close. for par coming up and that puddle drop well done our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage we find ourselves on a par three here and after that par they're looking for something good here opting for the six iron that might be one club too many Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Good opportunity coming up. Make this putt, and you'll move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. Ah, that's frustrating. You can make this one, it's for par. And that putt drops, now one under, heading to the stretch. That's a good way to move into the top ten. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Oh no, is that heading towards the bunker? This shot now being played from the fairway bunker. Well struck. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? 
Well, looks like about 30 feet to the hole, guys. Ooh. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. You're going to put your foot down. This is as good a time as any. Pretty good shot there. From about 130 yards here. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. Good looking shot, this. Playing from around 240 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. John, you're down there. Can you get out of this predicament? No, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. That's uh, on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. A chance to get to three under with this putt. This is a good chance. And that will conclude his tournament to date. Well, Rich, after coming so close to going back to back, you just wonder the way they finished. Maybe the occasion just got a little bit too much for them. Luke, this player did everything to seal back to back wins on the PGA Tour. Unfortunately, coming up just a touch short. Still two awesome weeks. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.
2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Reverie Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, I'm ready to get stuck into it, so let's go right into this opening hole. Welcome, friends, to the opening hole at Ocean of Memories. Par 4, 445 yards, and just a wonderful, gorgeous, poetic scene. Second shot is glorious, absolutely glorious. The green sitting up top of a little perch. The bunker sitting there, brown. I just want to stare and watch it and look at it. Soak it in. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one could take a little bounce to the left. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. 11 feet to the cup. Oh, just missed. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. I don't mind the look of this. Nicely hold. And for par. Starting the round at even par. Here we are at the second tee. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. This shot here from about 240 yards. The interesting choice of the driver here. Wow, what a shot. This putt about 11 feet in distance. If it's up, it could be in. Oh, well home for Eagle. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. You've arrived at a par four. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it. Lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. This putt coming up is for birdie. They've hold it. That's very gutsy. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. Teeing off here at the fourth. Look, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. And choosing the eight iron here. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Left yourself an opportunity. Birdie at the last. This for another.
Might need to get the feel back on the putting green. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Tracking. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. We have a par four on this one. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. This shot is about 140 yards out. Going with the eight iron here. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Was on a good line. And this one is for his par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Patrick Cantlay currently in the lead. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here on the sixth. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, heads up here, guys. I don't know which way this one's going to come out of this stuff. Very, very deep, deep down in here. Well, this would be a great par putt if he can make this. Get excited. This could go in. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Patrick Cantlay is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. This hole here is a par four. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Five wins so far this season. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Nicely done. And this putt to move into a sheer of first. by the hole putting for par and the putt drops and we're moving on Patrick Cantlay's heading the field in this one let's see what happens here at the eighth opting for the hybrid I think Nicely done. Make this putt. He'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. It's tracking. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And that will take him to four under. He's currently in a share of top spot. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off.
sitting at minus four in a share of the lead. And choosing the eight iron here. Good shot there. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Big chance here. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Don't know about you, Rich, but I'm getting my palms sweaty in the booth just thinking about this player's position with nine to play. Well, keep your hands to yourself. But yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. Not a bad line, this one. Sitting at five under for the day. Currently leading. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, that's beautifully judged. Just outside 10 feet to the hole here, right on 11 feet to be exact. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. It's got a chance. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And that will take him to seven under. He sits in first position. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Well, that's huge momentum they're bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. Going with the 9-9, nine -nine, I think. This one is chewing fiber. Very good look at birdie here. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And that will take him to eight under. Our current leader is up by three shots. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. This shot from around the 200-yard mark. Going with the three iron. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And after that hole, leading Patrick Cantlay by a couple of strokes. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Uh, it's a bit quick from the top. This one's hooking hard. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here.
That's it. It's okay. And here we are with the third shot. And here we are with their fourth. You liked that, didn't you? This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Go on, get in the hole. That's well hold. And after that hole, you've built a two-shot buffer over Patrick Cantlay. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Terrific shot and a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Looks good off the blade. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. Leading by three strokes now. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Good birdie on the last, what's in store? now this one should find the rough well, a man on the ground John McCarthy would have a better look at this how's it lying well guys a lie is you know considering the situation is pretty good hopefully they can get a hold of this one getting ready to play their third Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And that putt drops, now nine under as we head to the stretch. Ooh, that is some pretty good breathing room, out in front by a bunch. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 16th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. And here we are with the third shot. Chosen the pitchy wedge here. Oh, good shot that. Right inside the range. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Now five shots up after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Pretty sure this play will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Butting for birdie. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's currently sitting in first place. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. That's heading into the rough, I think. 
after a very consistent run of play over the last half a dozen starts or so, Rich, this player's coming with a whole heap of confidence and they look to me to be one of the players to beat. Do you agree? We've seen this player time and time again contend for tournaments and it is no surprise to see him doing it once again this week. It is so fun watching this player. They're in top form. It's all come down to this. A putt for the title. Ooh, nice line. Well, how about that? They get the victory, and in fine fashion too. Look, the victories, winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. And Rich, I think you mentioned earlier that this player was your favorite, well picked. Listen, I, it's not a hard pick, is it? This player has consistently been there all season long. There's no reason why not to pick them to win. They just make me look smart. That's about it. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.
Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey, proud to be alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam in Phoenix, Arizona, specifically TPC Scottsdale. What's this opening hole like? Well, thankfully, it's a little benign compared to the craziness around the golf course that ensues. Just 414 yards from the back tees. Bunker down the left-hand side that players want to avoid. They'll be more than likely taking out a long iron fairway wood, hitting it down the right-hand side. Green tilts a little bit from right to left. A big runoff area on the left-hand side is a no-no for your second shot. But all in all, a nice, easy opening hole. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. TPC Scottsdale, known for a bunch of birdies, Rich, and you can get right after them here at the first. A gentle opening hole, second shot, a good opportunity to get your iron play dialed in. Green is very small. Anything missing to the right and to the left will run off into a collection area. However, if your irons are dialed in early, it's a great opportunity to make an opening three. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And he needs this to save par. Okay, steady now. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Well done. Well, that's disappointing, Rich. Getting underway over par. Yeah, well, you're used to making bogeys a lot, Luke. This player is not. I think that there will be birdies to come, no doubt about it. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Has got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And down she goes. And that ensures that he's back to even par now. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. Going with a three-wood here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Currently a couple under for the round. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. The par 3 fourth at TPC Scottsdale plays 183 yards. Fairly straightaway hole, but bunkers again, front, left and short right, requires a pretty accurate and solid strike. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. That a boy, good shot. And this is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one.
Ouch, that hurts. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. I like the look of this. And there it is. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that will catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. Sitting at two under, currently tied for 10th place. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, oh, wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Absolutely, in there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Hey, that's a chance. And that will drop in for Birdie. And with that, we'll move to three under par. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. The sixth hole at DPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four, 432 off the back tees. And again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold play is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole, but a safe strategy lays back before them. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Just a couple back from our leader. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Not taking enough club to get it there. Getting ready to play their third. Only two shots off the pace. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Well hold. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three measuring 215 yards from the back tees. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. Opting for the three wood. Well, a little off the target with that one. Air mailed the green with that approach. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Not a bad line, this. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale is a par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. There's plenty of room off the tee to the left, just so you can avoid that bunker on the right. There's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided, a short little pot bunker. But two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie. That should find the surface. That's not what they were looking for. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Par putt coming up here. Job done. Let's head to the next. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? 
I tell you, Luke, final nine, find themselves one back. Do you like the position or don't you? I personally do. Go chase down that leader. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Now, four under par. Currently tied third, just a couple out of top spot. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Wow, that's classy. Good save from there. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. The 11th is a par four, playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, they might have a good chance with this one. It's in the first cut, sitting, sitting pretty good. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Now, from that lie, missing the green was always an option. Was that? And that will move him up the leaderboard as well.